My dear child, maybe this season is turning out to be a lot different than how you thought it to be. So you have given so much of yourself to come this far and you have carried on through the longest of season just to be where you are right now. And yet everything that you hope for seem more impossible and hopeless here. So maybe that is why you feel this strangeness and fear in your heart. So please remind your worried self that one day it will all make sense that you will find out why certain things needed to happen. And why things that you so desperately hope for did not happen. But first you have to allow this season to unfold itself in its own way. You have to trust that the impossible can be made possible with true belief, bravery and courage. Remember that the temporary moments of that you are going through currently only make a fraction of your journey. They are not your whole journey. My child, know that. Let go of your limiting beliefs about love. Your heart desires more connection, love and nourishment. So you are at the point in your life where you need to learn how to truly give and receive love. So fully opening your heart will awaken your vulnerability, sensitivity and fear, in particular your fear of rejection and intimacy with another person. However, you will also unleash your passion inspiration, greatness and an ability to care deeply. So start seeing how great life is and be willing to connect to others. If you have been holding on to past pain then it is time to acknowledge. Feel and move forward, give yourself permission to let people in, ask for love with all your heart and soul and it will come. So look for something beautiful in every person you encounter, focus on feeling good whenever you see people loving each other and So know this is coming to you in the form of a love of lifetime or an incredible friendship worth waiting for divine timing is it and in your love life life can be very challenging even for the most simplest situation especially when something may be taking longer than what you anticipated it to be and this is all part of a life lesson. So things happen for a reason and it is not always meant to be what you expect at the start. So in order for you to manifest your dreams, you must first have patience and this message is a message that you need to have a patience and trust in God. Don't analyze the situation, focus on yourself with self-care and taking time out with someone is special in your life and this will help you raise your vibration and hold on to patience.
So my child, no dad. Visualize the kind of life you want for yourself. Visualize and then only you will be able to see a path. Some of you could be feeling stuck not knowing which direction to take and which path to move. This is all dependent on you, the way you want to navigate it and you will get a go ahead from someone, a sign that it's time to do that thing which you were stopping yourself from doing. So it's a time to move, it's time to move and see your own inner light. Something in your life is brewing up and it will keep growing simultaneously. It's just your story happening the way it is supposed to now. You are getting what you truly deserve and know that someone here is also understanding what they truly feel for you. So what has changed in their life because of you? This person feels very free and rejuvenated because of you. So they find the vigor to be better again because of you. Keep moving towards what the universe has opened for you, my loves. So you are headed in the right direction this person i see will reach out and tell you take some kind of action or do something that is necessary now so the path becomes more and more clear as you choose yours yes it is coming at the cost of breaking some norm and not doing things the way you used to do But that is because you now finally know the true meaning of choosing yourself. The change is inevitable and the push to move towards a better direction in your life is being withheld by the universe. The school society might be a roadblock but we are still doing this. Add a pinch of more self-love when someone blocks your movement. This month and a pinch of more self-love when someone teaches you how to deal with your life. So imagine this, you are exactly where you need to be. Every struggle, every victory is collecting a stronger, wiser you. So your journey with its twist and turn is not a series of random events but a path leading you towards your true potential. Believe that everything is unfolding perfectly even if it does not seem clear right now. Your dreams, your aspirations, they are all within reach. Hold on to hope. So embrace change and remember you are capable of overcoming anything. Let this be a reminder that you are not alone together. Let's welcome every challenge. For it's all part of a grander plan designed just for you. Trust the process, your story is far from over. So my child, no dad. It is okay to be in this space, that transition, the messy middle, the space in between. You are moved on, but you have not yet arrived. So you are left behind what you need to, but the puzzle pieces have not all yet come together. There is messiness, there is waiting. So there is uncertainty, you are wanting to rush but everything is moving slow. You are wondering if you will get to where you want to go but where you are is perfect.
so the massive middle is four doors the close and new doors to open this transition period is where things come undone so that they can't be put back together this is a season of just being of trusting this is a season to pause and take a break have a love for yourself you are exactly where you need to be so what is meant for you will arrive in your life and it will remain in your life what did not transpire was not meant to the end of that journey would not have led you some so where you would have wanted or needed to be if you are really honest with yourself you know this on the inside there were so many signs that you willingly brushed over in the heat of blind hope and if you spend your life fixated on the might have been you miss out on the steady currents that have carried you all this way notice what stays notice what is constant notice what preserves these are the things that the song of your life will be composed of so my child know that let go of having to fix this life of having to rely on plans of needing to be something at a certain age but who you are instead work on freeing yourself survive barely live wildly live loudly keep your job keep your plans and don't depend on them because here is what i need you to understand entitlement holds you back ego tells you what you are who oh, surviving prevents imagination So you should be out there facing your fears, operating yourself to discomfort, instead of running away from it. Risking the years, you will fall and keep falling until finally you rise higher than you ever thought you could. So believe there is more to this life than living it for plans and guarantee. At thirty, forty, and fifty, stretch yourself wide open. willingly ask yourself to be part of the life you want to live so because there is no point in life if you worry about what lies ahead constantly there is no life if you look back and wish it could have been different So today is different and so why should not you take that chance So my child know that this timeless words offer us a simple yet profound blueprint for living a life that honors God Let's break it down firstly to do justly the scholars to act with righteousness and integrity it means treating people with fairness honesty and respect regardless of their status or background as followers of Christ we are called to stand up for justice and righteousness in a world that often prioritizes self interest and injustice So secondly to love mercury god more please towards us boundless and unfalling us boundless and he calls us to extend that same mercury to others this means showing compassion forgiveness and kindness so even to those who may not deserve it as 
reciprocate of god's grace we are called to be channel of his mercury to a hurting and broken world and finally to walk humbly with your god this reminds us of the importance of humility in our relationship with god instead of relying on our own strength or wisdom we are called to submit ourselves to god's guidance and direction walking humbly with god required surrendering our will to his and trusting in his plan for our lives so my dear friends let's strive to live out this principle each day let's seek to do justly love mercury and walk humbly with our god in all that we do may our lives be a reflection of god's love mercury and grace to the world around us so my child know that just like nature has its season we have season of our soul there is a time for planting seeds harvest growth and celebration and rest and renewal So understanding the season of our soul's growth will help you navigate life with more grace and easy. Often we feel stuck when really we are initiating new levels of consciousness and with this comes a time of inner reflection. So you have drawn this message because you are in a phase of realignment but hence you have been pushing and working hard with new tangible results So when this happen it is human nature to push harder but your true self has an easier plan so relax release and surrender Stop pushing so hard and wait it out. We have been conditioned to believe that if we push harder, we will achieve more and be successful. But there is power in the pause. Instead of using force to push ahead, let yourself be. So this is not about surrendering your desire and dream but relaxing into the flow of life and seeing that doing nothing is necessary for alignment and progress forward Now is not the time to rush ahead for things are happening behind the scene and aligning for you trust the process and allow yourself to relax and do less So practice being patient by slowing down now is a good time to rest take a sea salt bath journal meditate or connect with your spirit guides there is great power in pausing and showing the universe you trust it by releasing your needs to know or control the outcome everything will make a sense soon but your higher self is urging you to take this time to regroup reevaluate and rest for you will need the energy for your next phase so my child know that Are you growing in the fruit of the spirit? And while we are not justified by our words, gems tell us that our words show we are justified. So, if we are growing in the fruit of the spirit, that is one way that we can be sure that we are justified. So what James is saying is that as we grow in our love for the Lord by growing in our knowledge of him we will long more and more to fight against sin and
द लॉजिशियन कॉल दिस प्रोसेस सैंटिफिकेशन एंड दिस डज नॉट मीन दैट वी वुड नॉट कंटिन्यू टू बैटल बिटवीन फ्लैश एंड द स्प्रिट और दैट वी आर सिनलेस but christ will sanctify us through the holy spirit that dwells within us although we will never be perfect or sinless on this side of heaven we should eagerly seek to glorify god so growing in our knowledge of him and displaying the fruit of the spirit more and more by his grace alone So take a heart that Lord will finish what we begin. His loving kindness is better than life. Christian, look to Jesus, your perfect peacemaker. He will surely sanctify you, and He will bring you home to glory with Him. So let go of your limiting beliefs about love. your heart desires more connection love and nourishment you are at a point in your life where you need to learn how to truly give and receive love fully opening your heart will awaken your vulnerability sensitivity and fear so in particular your fear of rejection and intimacy with another person however you will also unleash your passion inspiration greatness and an ability to care deeply so start seeing how great life is and be willing to connect to others if you have been holding on to past pain then it is the time to acknowledge feel and move forward So give yourself permission to let people in ask for love with all your heart and soul and it will come look for something beautiful in every person you encounter So focus on feeling good whenever you see people loving each other and know this is coming to you in the form of a love of a lifetime or an incredible friendship The path you are on is about to go through a very powerful transformation nothing is how it seems you have an opportunity to take a big leap in your level of consciousness It is extremely important that you focus on letting go of any negativity and beliefs that no longer into incredible gifts and miracles meditate and take action on your highest goal and dreams they are on their way to come true Let go of your expectations what is about to appear can surpass anything you have dream of the most important part is that you are prepared and ready to receive the energy around you is very potent at the moment so make sure that you are using this time as productively as possible give yourself time for prayer gratitude and celebration my child no dad these timeless words offer us a simple yet profound blueprint for living a life that honors god let's break it down firstly to do justly and this calls us to act with righteousness and integrity in our dealings with others it means treating people with fairness honesty and respect regardless of their status or background
As followers of Christ, we are called to stand up for justice and righteousness in a world that often prioritizes self-interest and injustice. Secondly, to love Mercury, God's Mercury toward us is a boundless and unfalling, and He calls us to extend that same Mercury to others. This means showing compassion, forgiveness, and kindness even to those who may not deserve it. As recipients of God's grace, we are called to be channels of His mercy to a hurting and broken world. And finally, to walk humbly with your God. This reminds us of importance of humility in our relationship with God. Instead of relying on our own strength or wisdom, we are called to submit ourselves to God's. guidance and direction walking humbly with god requires surrendering our willing to his and trusting in his plan for our lives so my dear friends let's strive to live out these principles each day let's seek to do justly now Mercury and walk humbly with our God in all that we do. May our lives be a reflection of God's love, mercury, and grace to the world around us. So, dear souls, know that two of cups is about two people falling in love. Their relationship unites two pieces of God. They are the mirror to each other's soul. and this is a deep and fulfilling connection so where both parties are invested in a relationship with a commitment to its success this union could be a love relationship or it could also signify entering into a business partnership having similar goals so mutual admiration and respect towards each other the king of cups signify a person who is compassionate caring and understanding and who can provide comfort and support in difficult times the king of cups is often associated with a mature and responsible approach to relationships So this pairing signifies a deep and nurturing bond between two people that is built on mutual trust, respect, and understanding. This combination suggests that both parties in the relationship have a deep understanding of their emotion. It represents pairing signifies. it represent a positive collaboration and team work where each person bring their strength to the table to achieve common goal type yes if you have faith and trust in universe and if you want your all wishes comes through type amen